Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. N again, and welcome to Project 9. Now this is going to be a special project because you know what time of year it is, boys and girls. You know, it's Halloween is coming up. And before I get started and show you some examples, I went around my neighborhood and around town and I took some clips of Halloween decorations. So I'd like for you to watch those now and I hope you enjoy them. You can see some Halloween pictures here. Nice. You can see this pumpkin skeleton. And you can see over here all the costumes and the people up there. Wait. Here's a great Halloween design at our school. This is Dora's door to add to our wonderful collection of Halloween designs and decorations. Decorations, the peanuts and cartoon characters. That's a cool way to go. Here's a spider on a fire plug. And over here are two cute little jack-o'-lanterns. And there's some more. Crawling across the rocks. And then there's another spider. Here's some scary decorations. A skeleton. A werewolf. An evil clown that says, Boo! Happy Halloween! This is a pretty cool decoration. There's a fence, there's gravestones, a vampire, skeletons coming out of the grave. Pretty scary. This is real close to my house. Happy Halloween. Ooh. Oh, boys and girls, don't be scared. It's just me. This is a mask I made a long time ago. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun making. It looks kind of like a either a goblin or a ghost. I mean, or a witch without a hat. So first of all, I'm going to show you some examples, and I hope you like the video clips that I had in the video. These are actually images of former students. First of all, we'll look at this little one. It looks pretty familiar. It looks like a Dracula with vampire. Ooh, he put blood. Now, you've got to be careful with your drawings. Let's not get too bloody, okay? Okay, that's pretty good. This one's from a long time ago, because this is from a movie. This is Ghost Rider. Now, Ghost Rider was a guy that turned into a skeleton and he rode his motorcycle all over at night. And he actually was a good guy. He fought, he, he was a crime fighter. And then here's another drawing. And this drawing, boy, he's got a lot going on in here. He's got this kind of crazy devil-like creature and he's got like ghosts and all these kind of stuff drawn all over. It's just kind of a really crazy drawing. He's got this, this kind of ghost with a pumpkin head. Well, that's pretty interesting, though. This looks kind of like a crazy hamburger, but, you know, not bad at all. And then this is kind of still in that scary range. And your Halloween pictures don't have to be scary, but this is a painting a student did kind of like a demon-type person with flames and this green light. I think it might be a dragon. Yes, it is a dragon down there, a dragon creature. Pretty interesting. Lots of interesting, interesting information in that picture. And then, of course, there's this one. It's kind of like a big ghost face. You know, Ooh. Now, I don't want you to get scared, boys and girls. I want you to have fun with this. Because this one is more your traditional Halloween. There's a house, kind of a haunted house with cracked windows. There's looks like a little ghost. Or maybe trick-or-treaters. Maybe that's what they are. You know, you could do a bunch of trick-or-treaters. It doesn't have to be scary at all. And then, of course, this last one is a bunch of vampire bats. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do for Halloween. You can make it scary or you can make it funny, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate real quick. First thing I'm gonna do is, how do you do a haunted house? Well, I always say you start out with a rectangle like this and you say, well, that doesn't, that's the bottom of the house. That's the basement. You know, all the crazy things going on in the basement. And then you have some stairs 
that go up to the floor, first floor of the house, the haunted house. And there's a big door and it's got a crack in it. It has a window, but it's all broken. And then there's this big window here, but it's got a hole in it and it's got a crack here and another window over here and it's got a crack and there's curtains flying out because it's a haunted house. Ooh. And then you've got the second story up here. You got a window here and it's got a crack in the window. The windows are broken. In fact, what's this coming out? Ooh, ooh, it's a ghost coming out of the house. Here's his eyes and there's his mouth. And then there's a, there's a little railing up here, but it's kind of broken and cracked. That's like the top, the balcony, but you wouldn't want to sit up there. And there's another window and it's all broken and cracked, you know, and maybe another ghost. Stay away. Don't be scared. It's just for fun. And then you have the top part of the house and you got this part and there's like a tower, like a tower roof, but it's all broken right here. And that's, and you got an old window that's cracked and broken and another door or window that's cracked and broken. And out of this, you've got bats flying. We'll cut it black. Your bat's flying out. And then there's a big moon with a cloud in front of it. And down here at the bottom is an old crickety fence, a wire fence. It's all broken down. This is, and there's the gate. And it's all crickety. And here's the fence, the wrought iron fence. And look what's in the front yard. It's a grave. Ooh. With R, I, P, rest in peace. And another grave. And look, there's a hand coming out of the grave. Ooh. R, I, P. And then we'll say there's a tree. It's a dead tree, though. It doesn't do very much. It just goes in different directions. Okay. Now, over here, on this side, let's draw... Everybody loves to draw pumpkins. And you say, how do you draw a pumpkin? Well, it doesn't have to be perfectly round. I don't know... I can tell you how many students that wanted to draw jack o lantern They said, Mr. Ann, i got to have a perfect circle. No, you don't, because pump. if you've been to the store, the pumpkins aren't perfectly round. So this is the top. And maybe you have some leaves right here. And we're going to have the lines come down, but we, then we got to do the eyes. Like that, and color them in. Like that, we're going to color it in. We're going to do the nose. But because the haunted house was kind of scary, we're going to do a happy jack-o'-lantern. A goofy one with buck teeth. He's happy. Because Halloween does not have to be scary. Okay, you can draw yourself as a trick-or-treater. We'll put the ground right there and stuff. And then maybe you draw, let's see, we're going to draw like this, and we're going to draw a witch. And there she is, and there's her big old long nose, and she comes down, and here's her mouth, and she's missing some teeth. She doesn't have very many teeth. And then she's got a big old wart on her nose. And then there's her eye. And she's like, ee, 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 ee. and there she goes. And then, of course, there's her hair. And, and then, of course, she's got a wart with the hair going on it. And there's her ear. Her ear right there. And she's got a big old earring. And then, of course, there's her shoulders. Okay, now. These are kind of traditional Halloween pictures, but you know what you could do? You could draw your Halloween costume. What are you going to be for Halloween? It doesn't have to be scary. 
Maybe you're going to be a superhero like Superman or Batman, or maybe you're going to be like Liza, I mean, like from Frozen, Anna and uh, Eliza. You know, I know some of you girls like Frozen. So you have to decide what you want to draw. Fill up your paper and use lots of colors and have fun with it. Now, I want to say one more thing. If your family doesn't celebrate Halloween, you do not have to do a Halloween picture. You can draw whatever you want. Never feel uncomfortable. If you sit there and say, well, Mr. N, we don't celebrate Halloween. That's fine. If you do, have fun with it. If you don't celebrate Halloween, draw whatever you want. Maybe you want to draw big flowers. Or maybe you want to draw a dog or a cat or your car or a dinosaur. Feel free to draw whatever you want. Remember, you do not have to do a Halloween picture if your family doesn't celebrate Halloween. Okay? So I look forward to seeing what you guys will all make. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you soon because I'm at school now. And those of you who are not at school, I hope you're doing well. And I hope you're feeling good. Bye-bye.